We've had quite a few patients recently on my palliative service with glioblastoma. Glioblastoma, if you're not familiar, is a brain tumor. And unfortunately, it is a very aggressive brain tumor that even after resection and radiation and different modalities to treat it, often comes back and often will take people's lives. But there's a lot of things that we can do to help, and sometimes there is a lot of pain and headache involved with glioblastoma. So in palliative, we like to get involved for a couple of reasons. Of course, we like to talk about the what ifs of the future and get some advanced directives and get a healthcare POA. And if you want to be a DNR at this point, put all of those things in writing because it's super important. Because this disease, whether it's in the next couple of weeks, next couple of months, who knows, maybe the next couple of years, it is very likely to take someone's life. So we need to talk about these things and we in palliative are comfortable talking about these things with you the other things are how do we treat the symptoms that come up with this and what symptoms could happen so with any type of brain tumor there definitely can be headaches but there also can be dizziness balance problems because of that there can be falls so sometimes you need different resources than what you've had at home there also unfortunately can be vision problems so sometimes you're not going to be able to drive anymore i'm sorry i know it's miserable but it's something that isn't safe for you or anyone else on the road Another very difficult thing that can happen is seizures. So seizures can be common with brain tumors and we need to be ready and prepared for this to happen. And your family needs to know that this is a possibility. But the reality is it's important to talk through all of these things in advance because the better prepared you are for everything that could come, including symptoms, resource changes, you know, equipment needs, symptom management needs, and not to mention your advanced directives of what you want and what you don't want at the end of your life. These are super important and palliative can be really helpful with this. So save it for later, share this with someone who you feel like might need it. And of course, as always, follow along for more.